Hi, my friends. My name is David Hayward, also known as the Naked Pastor. So I just wanted to introduce myself because you might not be familiar with me or what I do, and you might be a little bit curious. I've got tons of work out there, tons of videos, tons of cartoons and art, um, and there's a, a lot of podcasts I've been on, but maybe you haven't heard anything about me, so I'm just going to take this opportunity just to say hi, introduce myself, tell you a little bit about myself, and introduce you to some of the stuff that I'm involved in. So, first of all, as you can see, I'm fully clothed, <laughs> and hopefully in my right mind. Uh, Naked Pastor, uh, I adopted that name back in 2005 while I was a pastor of a local congregation. I chose that name because naked for me means vulnerable, open, honest, transparent, raw, and I wanted to sort of pull back the curtain on um, the ministry and let people see what really goes on behind the curtain of a pastor's life and in the life of a church. So. I called myself the Naked Pastor. And, you know, I, I sort of work quietly, flying underneath the radar, just writing words. And uh, once in a while, I would share a painting that I'd done or something. But, you know, it was pretty much flying under the radar and pretty inconsequential. But in about 2006 or so, I started, I, I thought one day, why don't I draw a cartoon, try a cartoon and see what happens. Uh, I was an artist already on the side. I've been drawing ever since I was a little kid. And so I thought, why don't I just, you know, draw a cartoon, post it and see what happens. And I'm going to challenge myself to do a cartoon every day. And that's it. That's all you do. Easy as that. Whatever. And uh, until I run out of ideas. And uh, I thought I might last a couple of weeks. Here we are, uh, 18 years later. <laughs> and I'm still drawing cartoons because my cartoons really took off. Uh, for some reason, people just uh, love them and started to share them. Although I will admit some people hate them, hated them and word got out. Um, the word got out. I, uh, I was no longer flying under the radar. Naked Pastor was becoming a thing, uh, becoming recognized. Um, you know, the name started spread around the world. My cartoons were spreading around the world and my reputation started to spread around the world. And my position as a pastor of a local congregation here in the same town where I live now uh, came under scrutiny and uh, was jeopardized to the point where in 2010, I finally had to leave the ministry. I didn't have to, I wasn't fired, I wasn't kicked out, I wasn't replaced or anything like that. I, I just knew it was time for me to go. Actually, it was the conclusion or the culmination of many, many, many years of me struggling theologically with trying to understand what the heck the truth is and what's going on. And, um, you know, struggling with the ministry. Uh, I, uh, my number one drive is to be free, to have the space to be free, to be my authentic self. So not only was I in the church, which isn't really well known for providing that kind of safe space, <laughs> I was also in the ministry, which is famous for being, uh, for living, you know, making you feel like you live in a goldfish bowl under observation all the time. So I had a really difficult time um, being in the ministry, even though I felt I was good at it. I was a pretty good pastor. And you can ask around, maybe. You'll hear some bad things maybe, but you'll hear a lot of really good things too about um, the quality of community and everything like that. But in 2010, it just got to the point where um, the denomination I was a part of, which was Vineyard uh, at that time, uh, was, you know, not happy. They were struggling with me. Um, word was getting out. People were complaining. Um, and even people in my own congregation were starting to bump into people from other churches and saying, what's going on with your pastor? Is he all right? You know, kind of thing. So, <clears throat> you know, I 
I grew up in a Christian home. I, you know, went to church most of my life. I got saved many times. I rededicated my life many times. I went to a Bible college. That's where I met my wife, Lisa. I went to seminary. Um, I got a master's in New Testament studies. Uh, I, you know, started my PhD, but instead decided to go into the ministry, making a long story short here. I got ordained in the Presbyterian Church in Canada. I got bored with that and eventually ended up in the Vineyard Church, pastor of church here locally. And that's where I finished my about 30 years of ministry. And that was in the, the Vineyard Church here in 2010. From there, I went and taught at a university for uh, a couple of years. And then after that, I thought, you know, I'm gonna try and make Naked Pastor a full-time gig. Now, by this time, Naked Pastor had been going about six, seven years. And um, I decided to see if I could make Naked Pastor a full-time gig with my cartoons, my art, maybe books, maybe videos, and other stuff. Sure enough, um, I'm now making a living from my my art and um, other things. But one of the big things that I did in 2012 was I launched an online community called The Lasting Supper. Welcome to thelastingsupper.com. So, you've discovered that you have a brain and you know how to use it. You like to think for yourself, but most of all you value the lessons your own experiences have taught you. Well, enter thelastingsupper.com. The Lasting Supper is a place where you will find like-minded people who are independent, smart, and kind. Here's a community of colorful people from all over the world. Perhaps the Lasting Supper is just the community you've been looking for. So come pull up a chair and help yourself. And uh, I was really feeling the pain of leaving the church, leaving the ministry, feeling pretty lonely. Um, and I knew there were a whole bunch of other people out there who were like me, who were questioning their beliefs, struggling with their faith, changing their spirituality, um, changing the relationship with the church. I called it deconstruction. I started calling it that way back in 2006, 2007, 2008, calling it deconstruction where you question your beliefs and all that. And in 2012, I actually formed a community online called The Lasting Supper for people to gather where they are questioning their beliefs and their relationship with the church and where they could have a safe place to question, to vent, to share their experiences and to find other people who are like them in a similar journey. You know, I, as you can see, if you look around the internet and you Google naked pastor, one word, naked pastor, you're gonna see my stuff everywhere. My cartoons, I've got thousands of cartoons. I've got many books, 10 books so far. I've got the online community called The Lasting Supper. I do videos, um, my YouTube channel, TikTok, Reels on Instagram. I, uh, I do public speaking. Uh, sometimes I do one-on-one -on -one coaching. Uh, there's, and I sell paintings and so on. I, I'm just a very, very, very busy person. Just creating content for all kinds of people, creating art, and hopefully creating some kind of understanding and meaning to what's going on in our spiritual lives when our relationship with uh, Christianity and with the church changes. So basically that's what uh, I'm about. Um, as I said before, my number one passion for me personally has always been, I need to be free to be me. And I transfer that passion to others as well. I think if I deserve to have a, 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 you know, the freedom to be my authentic self, you too should have that same freedom to be your authentic self. And so I try to make that space available wherever I am online. So uh, if you're following me on Instagram or on TikTok or on Facebook or on Twitter, or here on YouTube or um, wherever you might be following me, um, you can see that I am pretty diligent at making those spaces as safe as possible for people who are questioning their beliefs, maybe leaving the church or challenging the church, maybe they're marginalized in some other way, 
because they're LGBTQ plus or I'm going to specify as well trans or maybe they're women or um, BIPOC people or all kinds of other people who are marginalized. I am for them because they have the right to be their authentic selves and to enjoy the full rights and privileges as everybody else. I firmly believe that. And I also firmly believe that the church should be one of the safest places in the world to provide that. That's why my work kind of has a kind of a double-edged sword aspect to it. Some people love my work and then some people hate my work. And here's why. Some, uh, I am affirming and encouraging and validating people who are marginalized. So I've already mentioned some groups, um, people of color, LGBTQ people, trans people, women, um, etc. And I validate them and affirm them and support them and am a friend and an ally to all of them and believe they have the right to be free to be their authentic selves. The other aspect of that is I challenge any people, any authority, any leadership, any organization, any institution that marginalizes people. And, and so that's why it has kind of a, a double-edged sword to it where some people love it, some people hate it. I hope you're one of the ones that loves my work because you do find it affirming, validating and encouraging and that you uh, um, can find here a safe space to be your authentic self. And I'm gonna work my darndest to make sure that happens. So again, welcome to me, David Hayward, The Naked Pastor. Welcome to my community online. <laughs> there are people from everywhere around the world and I hope if you hang around, you'll be able to hang out with all kinds of people from all around the globe who are just like you, and just like me, who want to be free to be ourselves, our authentic selves, and to be supported and loved. So thank you and thanks for following me. Like my stuff, share it, um, get the word out. We belong together because we're one. And Thanks for being here. I love you and I'll see you soon.